and pericardial surfaces are smooth, shiny, and unremarkable. They weigh 1,398 grams. Large intestines, 890 grams. The heart weighs 367 grams. The tissue appears healthy. What is it? I've never seen anything like it. Hey, wait, you can't help! Frohicki? Ah, oh, freaking hell. Frohicki just got nabbed. Biotech guards just took him into custody. Where is he? They're in the building. I'm getting a lot of background chatter here. Scully fires. They're heading right for you. Hide. What are you doing? Agent Scully, they won't give up until they find us. Letting them take me will buy you time. When you're done here, Langley will help you to free me and Frohicki. Langley, did you find them? I think so, but it's not good. Talk to me. Frohicki and Byers are in separate cells northwest at your current location. The door to that area can be unlocked from a computer bank in the basement cryo lab, which is due north. Well, that's good, right? If it were that simple. The door to this cryo lab only opens with the scan palm print of someone who has top level clearance, and I can't bypass the system from here. Langley, can you tell me if the name John Gilnitz is in the system? Uh, yes, Gilnitz, John V. His handprint would do it, but... Oh. Oh, man, you're cutting that dude's hand off? Yes, Langley. That's both totally cool and completely sickening at the same time. No wonder Fro Hickey likes you. I don't think I could ever do what you just did. I gotta hand it to you. How about a hand for Agent Scully? Okay, Langley, enough. It was a good thing that Gilnitz guy was there to give you a hand. Maybe you should take a foot too, just in case. Might come in handy. Langley, where's the door? North, end of the hall. Hands up, baby, hands up. Come on, hand jive. Langley, I swear, if you don't shut up, I'll take this hand and beat you with it. Fair enough. Just tell me what to do when I get to this computer. Get into the system computer network software, click off the internal security control, and then send me an email. I'll do the rest. The system reads optical disks. Okay, Scully, I'm in. I'll take it from here.
What is this? Oh my god. Hey, just Scully, we're in. The door is open. I've almost got them. Agent Scully, thank God. I knew you'd do it. She had a little help there, buddy. Agent Scully? Man, I've had dreams like this. All right, we have to get out of here. Scully, your jacket. Oh, damn it. What's happening? The artifact. It just became incredibly hot. It melted the optical disc. Look. What in holy hell is that? Agent Scully, run! Take cover!
the holdup? You coming out or what? Anyone want to float a theory as to what that was? I've read about pyromantic entities in Russian mythology, but I can't even begin to explain what we just witnessed. I hate to tell you this. I believe we've all been exposed to a high level of radiation, cosmic galactic radiation from the artifact. We can be treated, but I think we're suffering the hallucinogenic effects. Man, that was a bad trip. Just say no to cosmic galactic radiation. Mulder's not answering. He must be on that transport to Tunguska. Whatever effects we may be suffering, that creature was tangible. It was real. We don't have any proof of the things we've seen, but this may be all the proof we'll ever need. <laughs> 